Good morning everybody, uh, so my name's Chris from Tauranga, New Zealand. Um, just wanted to have a bit of a chat with everyone about the coronavirus slash COVID-19. Um, I know it's hit a pandemic uh, sort of stage here in New Zealand, and no matter where you are around the world, of course we want everybody to take care of their families, whānau and loved ones. Um, even your friends and neighbours are great. Um, one thing to make sure that you're doing is where a lot of people are going wrong is that they're doing the stockpiling of essentials that like toilet paper, baby wipes and all of that type of stuff. However, you do need to be aware that there are other families out there. You don't need to stockpile 15 packets of 18 rolls of toilet paper. We're not going to be in lockdown for, you know, a year, depending on how many people are in your family. So please shop wisely, make sure that you are looking after yourselves and making sure that you've got the essentials that you need to get through from day to day. You don't need to overdo it. Uh, a 12 pack of toilet paper should last a general household about a week. If you're going into lockdown for about four weeks, maybe you need two or three more lots of that. Um, but think about the elderly. Think about your kids. Think about other people's kids. Think about all of the things that you potentially can deprive all of those people from and make sure that you're aware that by doing so, you are enabling them to not be able to get all of the stuff that they need. If you've got elderly neighbours like we do, just go over and check on them. They might be too scared to go out or worry about the crowds. Uh, hearing from one of my neighbours yesterday, um, they had an hour and a half wait at the queue just at the local uh, supermarket. Now that's ridiculous. Even on days where it's extremely busy and Pack and Save's got their $5 meat week, and everything else you shouldn't need to be there for that long um, so please the, the the biggest message I can pass on is just to keep an eye on yourself keep an eye on your family and look after the elderly if you've got friends who've got elderly parents and they live overseas see if you can go and see if they are in need set up a community support where you can help the neighborly uh, the neighbors and, and the elderly drop off some groceries help them out see if they're okay um, you know, it's the whole thing about New Zealand is looking after our whānau, making sure that we're looking after one of another, okay? And if we do that, we'll get through it. We're New Zealand, we're strong, we're able to be able to do anything that we want to do. Sure, we can't go out and me mix with a crowd of a hundred or so people, but you know what? It's okay. We don't have to mix with a hundred people. You've got access to Skype, Duo, all your stuff that you've got on iPhone. Sorry, I can't tell you that because I'm an Android person. Um, and everything else. So just make sure that you do what you need to do and look after everybody that you possibly can. Of course, keep yourself safe. If you're feeling sick, stay home from work. Don't mix with people. Try to stay away from the family as much as possible. I know having a family with four kids, very hard to keep away from them. Um, but yeah, wash your hands. Do all the necessary stuff that you need to to keep yourself and your house clean. And I keep going back to it. Look after our elderly. Make sure we keep an eye on them. Make sure that they're safe. Um, they may be curious. They may not know. Uh, I know that it's not a, a, a thing that everybody keeps up with on social media and everything else. But I'm sure that one way or another, everybody can look after one another. All right, kia kaha. Stay strong, New Zealand. We've got this.